We've got our Ubuntu Linux server running in VirtualBox and so far we've been using the VirtualBox user interface to log in and issue commands. I'm going to show you how to use a, another uh, client software to log in to our server and we're going to use PuTTY. Uh, we're going to use PuTTY as a secure shell client and there's other se secure shell clients and for that to work we need a secure shell server running on our demo Linux server. So first we'll install that and the full command to install I know the name of the server I want to install the package called OpenSSH server uh, a common secure shell server on my Linux machine we use the Ubuntu package manager app to install that and we need administrator privileges to do that so we proceed this command with sudo and we are prompted for our password we type it in and then it goes away and checks which software packages are needed and asks me do I want to continue, yes I do now it downloads those software packages and installs them this is setting up a server on my Linux machine that allows clients to securely log in to my Linux machine so it's up and running and now I'm going to use PuTTY to act as the client and it assumes you've got it installed it's a free download it brings up a window which asks me what's the host name or IP address that I want to connect to and I can get that one way is using ifconfig on my server what's the host name or IP address of my server we see it's what the inet address is 138.77.176.57 so we'll type that in the Port number of 22 is, th is the default value which is used for the secure shell protocol and we keep that and the other settings should work uh, as default so we'll try and log in let's just bring up windows here we'll bring them across first it gives me this security warning saying the client saying I haven't I don't really know if I can trust this server something about the keys fingerprint what we really should do is check that this indeed is the fingerprint of the server in case someone is performing some man in the middle attack well I'm pretty sure they're not because the client is on my computer the server is on my computer but just inside VirtualBox so I trust it so I'm going to say yes I trust it now I'm going to trust it in the future and that brings up our PuTTY login interface you can see very similar to the VirtualBox interface a black terminal asks us to log in and enter the password and now I'm logged into the same Linux machine but using the PuTTY secure shell client and I can run commands just as I could via the VirtualBox interface so not much difference at this stage except now we can do it from uh, other locations if needed we can do that across a network not just locally on our computer and even if we don't do that uh, we'll find that PuTTY is much more configurable in terms of the user interface we can change settings to make it look nicer so I'll show how to do that with a few examples if we right click on the top uh, menu bar then we see some settings specific to PuTTY uh, I'm going to change some of them and it brings up a window where we can specify some settings so for example we can uh, change the appearance I can change the font size and the font style consolas let's make it 16 so it's a bit bigger uh, when we select for copy and paste there are different modes in which we can do selection and a common mode in, in Linux and in terminals is that and referred as the X term mode here is that I select with my left button and use middle button to paste I'll show that in a moment so I'm just going to change because by default PuTTY doesn't use this external or Linux approach it uses a compromise between Windows and Linux I prefer this one because it's natural to Linux you can change other things like color schemes although it's not so easy you need to change individual uh, uh, characteristics you can uh, save settings to the default settings and change what's logged and a few other options that we may use 
Let's try that. And quite simply, it's made my font slightly bigger, so it's a bit easier to see. So that's much more powerful than what VirtualBox offers, which is simply fixed size font and, and uh, some fixed colors. Regarding copy and paste, if I type echo and I select that with my left mouse to paste, I simply middle click now. So you don't need to uh, do a, use the keyboard to copy and paste. You don't need to right click and bring up a menu. Just select, automatically copies, middle click, pastes. And you can change settings and save sessions so that uh, you can have different uh, settings depending upon the system you log into. So explore the PuTTY settings and create the configuration that uh, is best suits your needs.